Toyota's new engine is the smallest and most powerful engine ever made. Is Toyota's new 400 horsepower four-cylinder engine the future of performance? Or will it be another turbocharged experiment that fails to stand the test of time? Can Stellantis really be trusted to invest $5 billion in the US? Or is this just another empty corporate promise? Will Ford finally fix its Bronco Sport recall issues? Or are owners in for more headaches? And what about Tesla? Did Elon Musk knowingly mislead customers with self-driving promises? Curious to find out all the answers? Stick with us until the end. There are some captivating insights and surprises waiting just for you. Don't miss out on the journey. With the introduction of its most recent engine innovation, which is a turbocharged powerhouse with a capacity of four cylinders and a displacement of 2.0 liters, Toyota is taking a bold stride forward. Toyota's approach is distinctive, despite the fact that compact turbocharged engines are not a novel concept. This engine was developed by the firm to endure up to 600 horsepower in racing applications. This means that the consumer version of the engine should experience less strain and should last for a longer period of time. To what extent, however, will it remain true to Toyota's famed reliability? Toyota has built its name over the years on engines that are naturally aspirated and have a lengthy lifespan. This allows the company to avoid the hazards that are involved with turbocharging. Although they are strong and efficient, turbo engines are associated with issues over their lifetime, heat management, and the possibility of costly maintenance in the future. However, as a result of the movement in consumer desire toward engines that are smaller and more fuel efficient, Toyota appears to be transitioning away from available options with greater displacements and replacing them with alternatives that utilize forced induction. In the long run, if Toyota is able to demonstrate that its high-performance engine is just as robust as its previous offerings, it has the potential to alter people's perceptions about turbocharged engines. If this does not occur, it may be met with opposition from customers who anticipate that their automobiles will survive for decades. In the meantime, Stellantis has received a lot of attention after it announced that it will be investing $5 billion in the United States. At first glance, this appears to be fantastic news. However, the corporation has a history of moving jobs and production away from the United States in order to reduce costs. They are now making huge promises, despite the fact that the political scene is shifting and they have new leadership at the business level. There is nothing new about the promises made by corporations in the automotive industry. Yet the past has demonstrated that these promises do not always come to fulfillment. Just a few short months ago, there were speculations circulating regarding the possibility of a merger between Honda and Nissan. However, the agreement was ultimately unsuccessful because Nissan refused to become a subsidiary. Automobile manufacturers frequently make bold statements about their initiatives, but whether or not they actually carry them out is a completely different story. The commitment of Stellantis to the United States of America will not be demonstrated until when genuine factories and jobs are established. During the time that Toyota and Stellantis are adjusting to changes in the industry, Ford is dealing with yet another significant recall. The Bronco Sport, the Escape, and the Lincoln Corsair models from 2025 are being recalled owing to electrical difficulties. However, what is most troubling about this situation is that this is the second recall for the same problem. Ford initially sought to remedy the issue by updating the software rather than replacing the defective parts, most likely as a cost-saving effort. Additionally, the software update was installed. However, this strategy was unsuccessful and, as a result, they are now required to adopt a more direct approach to repairing the vehicles. The recall challenges that Ford has been experiencing bring to light a growing tendency among automobile manufacturers, which is to rely on software upgrades to address mechanical issues rather than performing hardware repairs. The use of this strategy can be successful on occasion. Nevertheless, in situations such as this one, it becomes abundantly evident that certain issues call for the replacement of genuine hardware. China is the supplier of a significant number of the Bronco Sports batteries, which is a factor that contributes to the vehicle's problems. Instead of employing batteries created in the United States or even Mexico, Ford chose to use cheaper equivalents made in China, which raises issues about the reliability of the batteries over the long run. 
In addition, Tesla is coming to terms with the fact that Elon Musk has now admitted that a significant number of his automobiles will never be capable of fully autonomous driving, FSD. Over the course of nearly a decade, Musk has given customers the assurance that their automobiles already possessed all of the required hardware and would just require software updates in order to become completely autonomous. Beyond the realm of automobiles, a brand new motorcycle that can reach high speeds is causing a stir. A machine called the Langen Lightspeed is currently being developed by the British company Langen. The contraption's objective is to become the fastest production bike in the world. As of right now, the title is held by the Kawasaki Ninja H2R, which is capable of reaching speeds of up to 250 miles per hour. The concept of making a motorcycle that is allowed to ride on public roads even quicker raises significant safety issues. However, the average rider does not possess the ability necessary to handle speeds of this magnitude, unlike elite racers. In conclusion, Boeing's difficulties persist in the aerospace business as the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, is contemplating terminating contracts for the Starliner and Space Launch System, SLS programs. Problems with Boeing's commercial aircraft, as well as recurrent delays and failures in the company's space program, are only some of the many challenges that the company has encountered since it was once a pioneer in aviation and space technology. The cost of launching a space launch system rocket is more than $2 billion for each mission, which is an enormous investment that becomes even more difficult to justify when technical issues continue to take place. Particularly problematic has been the Starliner program on multiple occasions. Following a series of lengthy delays, the spacecraft was finally able to arrive at the International Space Station. However, due to questions regarding the spacecraft's dependability, NASA ultimately decided to bring it back empty. Because of these failures, there is a significant amount of uncertainty regarding Boeing's capacity to effectively carry out its space contracts. It is possible that NASA will decide to look for alternative partners rather than continue subsidizing a mission that has been beset by setbacks because the stakes are in the billions of dollars. The aerospace and automobile industries are both making great strides forward, yet innovation frequently comes with big dangers. It is possible that the high-performance four-cylinder engine that Toyota has developed will reinvent the concept of turbocharged dependability, or it may fail to meet expectations. It is possible that the investment commitments made by Stellantis will not materialize into actual jobs. In the case of Ford, the recall issues underscore the dangers of taking shortcuts with regard to quality. Customers are left wondering if they were misled because Tesla has not yet achieved its goal of developing a self-driving vehicle. Langen's pursuit of the world's fastest motorcycle poses significant safety concerns, while Boeing's failings in space put the company's future contracts in peril. The road that lies ahead is uncertain, but one thing is certain, only time will tell which of these advancements will lead to success that is long-lasting and which will become cautionary stories of ambition gone wrong. Would you like it? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channels for more interesting and informative videos.